2023 Z06 Corvette chased by Porsche. See an update on why it's the number eight selling car in the United States. Man, you guys have to see this. Let's go! Howdy folks, you want to see going to Speed 252 show, scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys, if this is your first time stopping by, well my name is Clarence, I would love you to give this video a thumbs up to push it up in the algorithms, and if this is your first time stopping by, well, I would love you to hit that subscribe button, become part of this awesome community, because I would greatly love to have you. This community is awesome, and I would love for you to be a part of it just like everyone else that's already a part of the Seek on the Speed 252 family. Go anywhere on your screen right now, find that subscribe button, hit that bell notification right beside it, and become part of this community. Also, if you have an Instagram, go over to my Instagram, which is Seek on the Speed 252, and follow me there as well. And if you would like to support the channel, definitely go check out my hottest key tags right now. They are on sale. I would love to see one on your key ring. And if you would like to support me any kind of way, but here's my Venmo and Cash App, I will give you a huge shout out and put anything on the screen as far as your car goes, and I greatly appreciate it. Guys, I'm looking forward to talking about the 2023 Corvette C8 Z06 in this video, because I found some footage that was shared by my friend Keith, a Corvette blogger and Corvette nut, on the C8 Corvette being chased by a Porsche. Now, when you see this clip, I will want you guys to tell me what you think is happening and what this is for. But with that being said, I'm also going to talk about why the C8 Corvette is the number eight selling vehicle in the country. And you can also leave your comments down below on why you think the C8 Corvette is the number eight selling vehicle in the country. Now, shout out to Mr. Bill and James for wanting me to make this video on why the C8 Corvette is the number eight selling vehicle in the country. Now, at one point, it used to be number one but it dropped down to number eight. And I'm gonna talk about some things here because Keith Blogger also decided to talk about why this car was number eight in the country and he got some really great details. So now, of course, over 2021, the Chevrolet Corvette has been a mainstay on the IC monthly top 20 fastest selling vehicles on the list, with that car only falling to be listed once after a long shutdown in May. This month, the Corvette moves back into the top 10 on the fastest selling new vehicles for November 2021. I'm also going to make a video later on talking about some of the fastest cars in the United States and what cars is actually on that list as well. So within this video, the Corvette ranks the eighth place on the top 20 with America's favorite sports car needing just 16.4 days on average to sell, while previous reports have the top selling car on the list with the average days to sell in a single digit. This month, of course, the top of the average falls to 12.7 days for the Mercedes-Benz, which is also one of the top selling cars in the country. Corvette Blogger, which is also a good friend of mine, goes on to say what we have also seen with Corvette is that each month the average price appears to be higher than the previous month. And that trend continues in November with the Corvette wearing an average transition price of $96,685. And in October, the average transition price was $96,118. With that being said, I'm also gonna put my comment here as well saying this is one of the reasons why the C8 Corvette has dropped down on the list of one of the top selling cars in the United States. Now don't get me wrong, A place is still a really good high number because there's so many cars in the world right now that people can actually choose to buy a car from. Like most people usually buy like Honda Accords, Honda Civics, Subarus and things like that because that's the average day car to kind of get you from point A to point B. People don't buy Corvettes to get them from point A to point B. So to be top selling in the top 10 or 20 cars is still pretty good. But the Corvette used to be the number one selling car at one point. My reason why it dropped, and you guys can leave your comments down below in my personal opinion, is that this car dropped because of the pricing. When Chevrolet marketed this car to the world, the average price they thought that people was gonna buy this car or build their car was gonna be around eighty to ninety thousand dollars. Now we're seeing that most of these cars are being sold around a hundred thousand dollars. 
that's not somebody expecting this car on their own. This is the price of gouging that everybody's been talking about that was going to happen with the C8. For instance, when I built my C8, I got it for MSRP at $85,000. That included the taxes, the fees, the title, everything that was included when I built this car came out to be $85,000. When Chevrolet introduced this car to the world, the starting price was $59,995. I've got a video that will show you and tell you that I will release at some point what a $60,000 to $70,000 car can get you. At the same time, the prices of the C8 Corvette is continuing to go up, which is why this car is continuing to actually drop. Now, since I have this list in front of me, let me tell you the cars from one to 10 so you can see exactly what is competing with the C8 as far as sales goes. Starting with number one, we have the Mercedes-Benz GLE. Starting with number two, we have the GMC Sierra 1500 Limited. Number three, we have the BMW X4. Number four, we have the Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Limited. Number five, we have the Toyota Ride 4. Number six, we have the Toyota Ride 4 Prime. Number seven, we have the Toyota Sienna. Number eight, we have the Chevrolet Corvette. Number nine, we have the Toyota Corolla Cross. And number 10, we have the Mercedes-Benz GLS. Now, there's also 10 more cars on this list, but that's just giving you the idea of how many cars that are selling above the C8 Corvette. And let me tell you right now, it's not like the Mercedes-Benz or the GMC or the Chevrolet's or the Toyotas are selling it over MSRP or price gouging like the Corvette is. Now I'll admit, there are some cars out there like the Silverados or whatever that will be priced over MSRP at some dealerships, that's for sure. But there are definitely, definitely a lot of C8 Corvettes that are priced way over MSRP because this car is hard to come across. And that is one of the reasons why I think this car dropped down to number eight instead of being number one. We're also analyzing over 280,000 new and used cars sold in November to 2021. The average new car takes about 42.8 days to sell and the average used car takes about 51.5 days to sell. Both new and used cars are selling slower compared to last month's average of 31.7 days to 44.7 days respectively, which is what Keith says. The average price of the fastest selling new cars increased by 21% from October to November, which may have affected demand for new cars. So with that being said, you guys, one of the reasons why, in my personal opinion, Mr. Bill and Mr. John, that the C8 Corvette has dropped to number eight on the list is because of the price. Let's face it, like, the Toyota Corolla is obviously selling as pretty good number nine on the list, but this price for the Toyota is nowhere near as high as the Corvette. So it's one of those things why I think the C8 Corvette is selling like it is because of the high demand for it and also because of the chip crisis. With that being said, you guys, Let's hop into watching the C8 Corvette Z06 getting chased by this Porsche. And you tell me in this clip what do you think is actually happening. And I want to give a shout out once again to Mr. Keith, Ms. Corvette now for displaying this video. Because I would love to get you guys' opinion and your thoughts on why you think this is going on. Do you think Chevrolet got some type of video coming our way? Just leave your comments down below on your thoughts on what's going on in this video. Guys, what do you think Chevrolet is actually doing in this video? You think they're going to bring some new videos that will actually show us more details about the Z06? You think this will be like some type of video where they're trying to display the car some more to the work? Because pretty much the car knows what this car is about. Now, there are definitely some information that are lacking, obviously, like the price and the real true track time and things like that. But what do you think Chevrolet is going to give us with this new video? After watching this video, there's something I want to point out, and I want to see if you caught it too. Watch this clip. Do you see the C8 turn sideways for a few minutes here? Is this just me, or was it actually looking like the C8 Corvette just dipped it sideways? Just a little bit right there. Leave your comments down below if you saw that same exact thing, and explain why you think that was the case. Once again, thank you for watching this upload, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, and definitely give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.